A very good morning children how are you i hope all of you are doing fine this is your sst teacher sonia verma from springfields public school let us continue with our history chapter number 1 the medieval world we are supposed to continue on page number 3 major historical developments developments which took place during the medieval period so during the medieval period in india there were large scale changes in social culture religious politics and economy the coming of the muslims led to the growth of a mixed culture there was interaction between north and south india and between the hindus and the muslims the cultural exchanges led to the growth of a culture that was above regional and caste differences it was an indian culture so it was a kind of a mixed culture a mix of different religions the muslim dynasty is particularly the moguls provided many centuries of political stability to the country this led to an increase in trade and the rapid growth of towns and cities trade led to a greater interaction between people from different parts of the world india borrowed many things from the cultures of other countries During the medieval period Islam spread in India the bhakti and sufi movement spread the message of devotion to god and kindness towards all human beings Now let us move on to the sources just like the ancient period information on the medieval period is described from two main sources first is archaeological and second is literary There is an abundance of sources for this period. The books written during this period are available to us and the monuments that were constructed still stand. That is why we know much more about the medieval period than the ancient period. Now let us move on to the archaeological sources. Archaeological sources available to us include temples, mosques, tombs, forts palaces coins utensils ornaments tools and weapons and paintings they give us an idea of the political social and economic history of the time many rulers particularly in south india encourage temple building temples are a rich source of religious and cultural history paintings are another valuable source as it tell us about the customs food habits dress and jewelry of the period coins are very important for the study of the medieval period they give us dates of important political events a book on coins called dra dra pariksha an examination of coins was written during the reign of alauddin khalji it lists the coins minted during the reign of the sultan Inscriptions from South India record proclamations. Proclamations are the official announcements by kings and gifts to temples and learned men. So what are inscriptions? Inscriptions are writings engraved on hard surfaces such as stone tablets, pillars, metal plates, etc. Some of these inscriptions are recorded on copper plates and some are inscribed on temple walls so that is all for today children next time we are going to continue with literary sources see you soon take care stay safe thank you